I'm finished washing your hands, let's get into this instant pot chicken and dumplings. So first thing I did after I cleaned the pot out is I put it on the searing function. Y'all get into this. We're going to do this together. I'm going to just do it, record it how I did it, and then we're going to figure out at the end what was the best way to do it. It only took an hour and a half, y'all. Ready? So this is my already seasoned chicken thighs. I should have got the skin on chicken thighs, but I actually got the skinless. So, you know, that's okay because if the skin was on, I wouldn't have had to use any oil. Well, or very little oil, I would say. So I'm using this sesame seed oil. I heard it's heart smart, so we're going to start with that. I'm going to put a little at the bottom, but you will see um, the sesame seed oil seemed to cook up real quick. So eventually I had to add some more because I didn't want anything to stick to my instant Dutch oven pot, okay? Now, as soon as I got that amount in, like I said, I went ahead and started putting these chicken thighs in, but I eventually needed a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and get this handy dandy little kitchen gadget, this tongue. I like, you know, my seasonings, so I'm going to put it in there. Look how it goes and sears up. On that searing function, it's no joke. It already starts to cook. Because what I want to do is go ahead and cook these chicken thighs so I don't have to have it, you know, in this pot long. Like I said, an hour and 20 minutes tops because I got to get ready for work. You know how I do. And I only cooked about, you know, six of them. And I was right. The pot held about six. But you can do, you know, you can sear six at a time and then return them to the pot later if you wanted to. But this is my first time doing this instant pot Dutch oven. Told you, needed some more oil. And I use a combination of my fabulous season. You use a combination of yours. All right. Got it in there. You're going to be surprised. It already starts smelling good. I sat the Instant Pot on top of my oven, stove, I should say, because I wanted that um, vent function to come on on my microwave because every time I open the lid, it steamed up. I went ahead and put some onions and peppers in there. I had already pre-cut them and put them in there and I like ginger so I'm putting a little ginger paste in there it brings something you know to a meal it actually tastes really good with all my seasons at the very end y'all not gonna see it but I put a little bit just just a pinch of some red peppers I love them get a little kick that's garlic so I'm putting a little of this minced garlic in here it's good even though I season it real good these, these spices, these herbs, and all of that, it, you know, want to make this chicken dumpling soup wonderful. Now, I don't add any extra sauce because you'll see when I go ahead and add my water, I'm going to put a couple of bouillon cubes in there. They even low sodium. But it's enough salt in the ingredients. That's why I didn't add any. Yes, I am scraping my chopping board and putting the rest of the seasons in there. I told you I don't play by my chicken. I want it to taste good. That yard board, he went through a lot for this plate. All right. It looked good already. Now, this is on the searing function. And it sears pretty quick. So I'm going to turn it over. That's one thing I love about this Instant Pot. If you want, you can just sear up a steak in here real good, especially if you like it medium rare. Sear it up real good and throw it on your plate, and you done. And it's easy to clean. One pot meal, that's how I roll. It's literally 3 o'clock in the morning. I ain't playing about them. I got to get out of here and go to work. All right now. 
See, I just put the vegetables to the bottom because I want them to cook a little bit more. And it was enough oil in there. And you can use any kind of oil you like. If you use the skin on, you don't need as much. It smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up and let it sear. Let's check on it. Look at that. I told you it's no joke. Now I'll let you know this. I did turn it over one more time before I put the camera on. But see how that's going, see how that's already. You know what, I keep saying sear. It's the sauteed function. Uh, because there's not really a searing function on here. It's a braising function, which after I put the water in, and I use about 32 ounces of water. I put 16 ounces in at a time. I use the old mason jar, and I put the two bouillon cubes in, covered it back up. Now with that, with that saute function, it actually went off. Um, and I cut it back on. So I'm just going to show you my Grant's biscuits that I use to make the dumplings. This is what I use. I like the butter ones. And then I cut them up. I cut them in fours. Okay, see? This is actually after 30 minutes. See how it cooked really good? And like I said, I kept it on the saute function. That's why it's still bubbly. I decided I wanted to turn it down. And um, after I put this cream of mushroom soup in, and after I put in these fabulous um, biscuits, which will eventually be dumplings. If you make your own homemade dumplings, go for it, child. I don't. And then I'm also going to put in my vegetables. Oops, let me flip that upside down. This is green giant mixed vegetables. Use any vegetable you like. They was on sale at Kroger's for 99 cents. And I love green peas, uh, or what they call sweet peas. So I put an extra bag of those in there, even though the mixed vegetables have them. This is when I went to the manual mode, and it's preheating on manual. But even though it's preheating on manual, it still got a kick. It's still in there bubbling. Watch, I'm gonna uncover that you see see and I use a wooden spoon when I move everything around to make sure it doesn't stick so while it's trying to preheat I'm gonna move everything around nothing really sticking I'm gonna go ahead and add all the ingredients some of my sweet peas fell out the bag when I opened it that's why it's on the plate I should say my mixed vegetables. There go that other water. And you can use chicken broth. You can use a whole box of chicken broths. But like I said, I use chicken bouillon cubes. And I use water. So I'm going in with some of the dumplings. Then I'm going to go in with the vegetables. I did not cut up the chicken thighs. Around here, they want a whole thigh a piece. Some people shred it, and you can shred it if you like, but I didn't, I didn't cut them up. You can call this Lazy Woman's Chicken Dumpling Soup because I did not shred them chicken thighs. How y'all doing today? If you get a chance, can you please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel? I would like to get, you know, at least a thousand subscribers so I can go live. And if you like what I'm doing, I like to hack things and find out if all this equipment I done bought work. I try some recipes. 
There we go. Or take some old school recipes and use this Instant Pot and see if it worked. Sure, it came with the cookbook, but I'm just doing something that I normally would do on the stove. I'm going to go and cover this up for a few minutes. All right. So what I decided to do was put this on the manual mode and give it a, you know, extra 30 minutes. So, so far I've been cooking, I say 45 minutes. And the reason why I did that is it slowed up the boil. It was splashing everywhere. Um, and I'll go ahead and put the cream of mushroom soup in. Now be careful y'all, you don't want to pass the edge line. Hey, I want to say hi to y'all. You with me? Guess what I decided to do? I checked on it. It wasn't cooking my dumplings quick enough. So I went ahead and put it on the braising function. I said, let me see what the braising function going to do. Because, you know, I just want to see. I ain't braising nothing. But let me see what it's going to do. So it's preheating on the braising function. It said it braised for two hours. You know what? That's too long. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the saute function. I told y'all y'all doing this with me. I did. I put it back on there. Bam! It started back bubbling. And that's what I wanted to do. So I literally cooked this whole meal on the saute function. But the saute function run out in 20 minutes. So I had to like change it up three times. And that's how I got my hour and a half for the whole meal. It still said braising on that, but believe me, I did go ahead and change the sauteing. I had to get it off the braising function because what happened on braising is it bubbled, then it stopped. So I'm going to go in with this cream of mushroom soup. Now, I'm going to put some water in this can, so you can count this can too. So you can say 40 ounces of water, and that's just because I did it, but just don't pass that field line. It was getting thick. See, don't pass that field line, and you good. I'm gonna move it around. And I'm using my trusty wooden spoon that I got by way of the natural forest via targets. I like to spin it around. You know, that spinning really mixed it. They say in nursing school, when you wash your hands, use circles. Circles show confusion. It proves that it's clean. So I'll spin that in circles. And guess what it mixed up? It even turned that pretty, pretty yellow off those bunion cubes. All right, now you know you can make everything homemade, but that ain't what I'm about. I ain't got time. Like I said, I got patience waiting for me. All right, now I had to reset that again. I told you I had to sear it. Saute it, I put on a saute function. What is wrong? Does it say something up under saute? It do. Okay. I, I had to put it on there. How many times? Three times. Bubbling brown sugar. That is beautiful. Them dumplings just a cooking. Now, I did have to, you know, use that, you know, wooden spoon there. That ain't really a wooden spoon. That's really a wooden... What you, what you turn the pancakes with. I'm tired, y'all. To make sure nothing sticks to the bottom. And it was a little scrape. Nothing major. What you call that right there What you put use pancakes with? I don't forget the name. But it worked. 
spatula. That's a wooden spatula, y'all. It came to me. Ooh, brain don't fail me now. That is beautiful. It smells so good. This instant pot came through, came through. Oh, I got my handles out. And I got my little thing to sit it on. Because when it's all done, I'm going to take it out of the actual instant pot apparatus. Because that thing is still hot and I want it to stop cooking. Look at that. Look at that. I, I, I stuck that in there just to let y'all see. When I restarted, it still was bubbling. So the preheating, that was just its own thing. It was already bubbling though. This is beautiful. Look at that. You know it's, it's done, y'all. Y'all know it's done. Look at that dumpling. Hallelujah. Now that's a wooden spoon. Ooh, isn't that delicious? See, I put it on the little thing it came with. They call it Trivets. And there you go. Home style, air quotes, chicken and dumpling soup or stew in my Instant Pot Dutch oven. Get you one.